Thank you, Shade. There we go. They might have heard you that time. Maybe. Maybe. Should do a sync compilation and just put together all of the clips of us when we're saying sync, sync, sync. I've deleted all of those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where's your thoughts for the extras on the DVD? Because we can't sell anything? <laughs> <laughs> that was like... Yeah. That we give away for free. <laughs> the only thing we can because sell. Because the robots are going to take over everything and we're going to no longer have want for resources. I'm just going to say, the only thing we could potentially sell would be the fake game. And that's it. Yep. Potentially we sell to get permission to. Yes, we'd have to ask. But potentially that is the only thing we could actually sell. Yep. And I can tell you right now, the raw footage for the fake game is gone about a year ago. Actually, I need to check the license for Eclipse Phase. Um, because I know the core license is Creative Commons, but I don't know if it's non-commercial or not. I don't think so, actually. We could make money on that one? So. If we ever get above 100 subscribers? I know, right? I have to check, actually. Uh, anyways, yes. Thank you for... Uh, I need to actually grab my notes over here. I put my notes together in a pile. So they're ready to go. That is not near him. That is not near me. Ugh. Ah, that camera's in the wrong spot. I thought so. Alright, camera, I'm sorry I'm moving it. Nope. Back. Is that good? Uh, it's still rotate. Don't rotate. Stop twisting it. Um, I think back just a little bit more. Maybe a little twist. But only when you get up to the tip. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Lock the door so no one inadvertently walks and knocks the camera off. Right? I don't know who the fuck is going to walk into our house randomly, but whatever. <laughs> you never know what you're This is deep. So. Yeah. I know. Uh, this is non-biblically referenced Seattle. Non-biblically referenced Seattle. It's not copyright, right? Fuck! 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 Ah! I am sorry. I was gonna say it's your house. You know a lot of weird people. <laughs> this is true. Also, non-biblically referenced Seattle. You never know. We got sacrifices going on. We could have a random vampire walk in. Does that one guy you kicked out still think he's in a relationship with you? It was wrong because he's like stupid again. He loves me! I barely know you, dude. <laughs> I haven't talked to you in two months. I've got some of those. Like, why are you messaging me with this sappy stuff? You hardly talk to me. I don't get it. Anyways. But I love you, dude. Because I love you. What? I'm not that good. That's what Got nothing. Oh my god. Anyway. Yeah, so now I have meat in my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. So now, now on Reddit, you can put man with meat in mouth. <laughs> and our viewers will skyrocket. <laughs> It's all an elaborate ploy. Um, all of our titles are quick baby, apparently. I need to start putting pictures of like naked men or women on our titles <laughs> instead of the fucking demon title game. <laughs> just put demon to the set, tits, Sex and the next seven. one, demon to the set, giant <laughs> penis. And then the next one, nice chest. Next one, pussy. Next one, you can just kind of vary it up a little bit. All right, I like it. Um, Sex and marketing. Hermaphrodite. <laughs> we'll let everybody out. We gotta make sure we cover all our bases. Yep. We gotta have a We're very inclusive here. We gotta have a furry one. Oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah, we do. Why? Because Reddit. Legit. Oh, Furry Force put out. The College Humor did a new fur Furry Force. Episode. Oh my god, I need to watch that. Yeah, it okay. was, <laughs> so, it was now, hilarious. True facts, it's, though. Like, I went into. Can I have some of the. Kind of sort of trying to prove something to kind of sort of myself? Why not? Um, I was in no, DeviantArt, and I went oh. to, like, digital artwork. Mm -hmm. 
And so I'm like, all right, the goal is to find as many non-furry, non-anime things in the Ooh. digital artwork category mm. that I possibly can. No technical. I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> yeah, she is. That's fine. She's still on it. It's still good. It's still good. 20%. Really? I got five out of a hundred photos that I looked at that were not furry or manga or anime. All right, so I got five. five. I'm sorry, that's five percent. Five in a hundred is five. That's five. Yeah. The furry game, the deviant part, is to take any two words, put them into the search bar. If you get results, you need, you need, in order to win, you need to get results, and there are no furries on the first page. <laughs> the first whole page? First whole page. Oh my. So with, with Dennis's uh, estimate of 5% non-furry porn. Not furry porn. Oh, just, just furries. furries. I was specifically looking at... The thought process that spawned it was... I find that a lot of digital art lend, lends itself towards... Styles that feature anthropomorphic characters or anime or manga style. Oh, you included anime and manga. Mm -hmm. okay. Anime or manga style artwork. So I wanted to see specifically what digital artists are doing that is not in these two fields. The answer is very, very little. Mm -hmm. Is it good in the very, very little category? Yes, actually. There's a lot of, I found a lot of landscapes. But where I actually follow a couple, or I'm actually watching a couple of artists that do digital landscapes. Fucking gorgeous. Well, I mean, like, digital landscapes are really gorgeous. I play the PlayStation. I know! It's, it's all about the digital landscapes. I know! And that's why I was like... Half the reason Dark Souls is so fun is every once in a while you walk through a door and you're like, Oh my god! This is so... <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Good thing I gotta see this horizon again! Oh my god! Oh, I'm, I'm dead. dead. Until it just becomes blasé, like you see Old Faithful every day. It just eventually is like, eh, it's a hole in the ground that spits water. What, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I like the, the dark impressionistic ones that are like, um... Old oh, Faithful is just the Apocalypse Yeah, that just took in landscapes. Or it's coming. So that was, that was really like what it divides itself into is like there, I found one, one artist that did uh, like futuristic constructions like spaceships and, and haulers and traders and all of the other shit and like robots and shit. I was like, that's cool. But like everything else was for a manga and I was like, the reason why the reason why professional sources will look at a portfolio with this art and tell you to fuck off is because it's easy. Do something harder. Dennis tells the internet. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be a special section. It can be a special section. He's not <laughs> wrong. That's exactly what it is. Like, see all these furries I drew? See how good of an artist I am? You're no. not a fucking good artist. You're a piece of shit artist who happens to be able to draw the easiest thing there is out there to draw. Or has rich parents who buy him expensive art materials. It's not about the materials, it's about your skill. And if all you can draw is anime, manga, and furries, try something new. That's what they have those little Korean sweatshops for, for animation. Go work there. There's a job market. <clears throat> the reason that um, anime developed is because of its ease of drawing. Because of its animation! <laughs> And that's a lot of work to draw that crap. Over again with minor variations because that's how animation used to be done. In case you're too young to remember. So now the robots will make it. And like caveat, you know, like to to step aside and to argue the other point for a moment. I like how the beginning of this video is just <laughs> like it's gonna be ten minutes of ranting about something completely unrelated and then actual gaming. Uh, to step aside and argue the other point for a second. If you're a hobbyist, if you're not looking to have a professional job if you're just doing it because you have spare time to do it and the money to spend on these art materials fucking go for it who the fuck cares what i say but if you want to be a professional you need to learn how to do a variety of different things and you need to learn how to take direction your new dress work is getting getting to pay, beginning paid to do art conversely is not your art if you just draw furry porn, apparently that's very lucrative. Yeah, people in basements will pay you five, six, seven hundred dollars to draw them as if they were sexy instead of disgusting, unhealthy slobs. That look like animals. Specifically. We have oh, some strong good. feelings about the furry community. 
No, I'm really ambivalent. <laughs> Terry throwing everything. <laughs> Sharon, however, is very ambivalent. The rest of us are very strongly opinionated. <laughs> <laughs> the opinions of this particular room do not represent the opinions of... Uh, yes, actually they do. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> of this room? Yeah. Yes, that's where we were going. <clears throat> that's weird. Um, um, no, I just like furries as an easy thing to make fun of. But other That time, is a positive quality. That's a positive quality. Uh, otherwise, I don't really give a damn. Yeah. Clearly, Sharon needs to have a relationship with a furry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is what has soured the rest of us. I'm like, oh my god, this is dumb. I am meant to live with a furry that I have not had to kick out for one reason or another of legitimate standing, such as, you don't know how to manage your money. You're inconsiderate and destructive to the relationships of the people in the house. You're very selfish, and you only want. I hate to sound all first year <clears throat> college student, but like you know, Jungian fantasy complex. You what? Jungian fantasy complex. Oh, that's, that yeah. Like, that that's why I don't have. That's why while I have friends that are very active in the SCA, I don't go to SCA events. A Jungian fantasy complex. When it becomes your life. That's a problem. That's a problem. Anyways. That requires counseling. <laughs> requires no better thing to enter a relationship with the group. Learn from our mistakes. Yes. <laughs> There's two ways you learn. You learn from you know, actual, experience. actual experience, or you look at someone else's experience and go, huh, I don't want to experience that. JK. Hey, the internet. Books are cool. Books are cool. <laughs> it's like reading someone um, else's brain. So... Anyways, all of our ranting aside, which I firmly advocate should probably be taken out and put in a separate video by itself. <laughs> um, you can title it Dennis Tells It As It Is. Uh, <laughs> that or Furry's ruined this game. <laughs> Dennis ruins our subscription base. <laughs> that should be a subtitle. <laughs> the whole, hopefully, 18 subscribers that came back. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Um, 